New recall this morning after dozens of popular washing machines have caught fire and another major issue with airbags in nearly 2 million vehicles. Here we go. Consumer expert Amy Davis has all the consumer news you need this morning. Yeah, we're going to start with airbags, but don't tune out because this is completely separate from those airbags we've been warning you about that can explode. We've talked a lot about them. This one from Fiat Chrysler. They're recalling more than 1.9 million vehicles worldwide because airbags might not deploy in a crash. Mm. The recall covers certain Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Lancia vehicles from the 2010 to 2014 models. The automaker says it's due to faulty wiring. So far, three deaths and five injuries appear to be related to this issue. Well, General Electric is recalling some of its top loading washing machines after 71 reports of the machines catching fire. The recall involves three models of the GE Profile high efficiency top loading washers. They were sold between June 2003 and October 2011 at several stores like Lowe's, Home Depot, Sears and Best Buy. They say you should unplug the machine and then contact GE for a free repair. Well, we told you yesterday that three lawmakers were planning to introduce the Hot Cars Act of 2016 in Congress. They did, and now we have more details about that bill. It would require manufacturers to equip all new vehicles with a child safety alert system that will warn the driver with a sound or visual signal that a child or unattended passenger is still in the car after that motor was turned off. They would need to do this within two years of this bill passing. Well, some car makers like GM already offer that feature. So far this year, 29 children have died after they were left and trapped in hot cars. Mm. So then the bill goes on to say that after they require car makers to do that in new cars, mm -hmm. within a year's time, they would then need to retrofit the older vehicles. It's so okay. it's absolutely yeah. Yeah. We have such a problem with that here in Texas. Well, it may be one of the things now that car makers can do it, and GE's already started doing it, that they'll just start voluntarily doing it anyway. That makes sure the most sense. It can warn you when your headlights are on. So if it can do exactly. the warning, you know, right. why not absolutely. provide it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Something everybody wants. Obviously, yeah. I don't think there's one person who doesn't. So. No, I'm glad to see that. Yeah, some positive change. Thanks, yeah. Amy. Thanks.